Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 9 of the Adobe Animate Tutorial Series. So over here at the bottom you see that there's something called Timeline which is used to animate animals. So let's create a frame by frame animation right here. Uh, let's just add in um, an, a, key, a blank keyframe right here and then I'm going to uh, just make a basic uh, frames right here. So insert blank keyframe just like that. All right. Now what I can do over here is I can make frame by animation. Uh, so just draw over here and then over here I'm going to draw another section right here. And I'm going to draw another section right here and then draw one again. Or you can see that I have different frames right here. So this is the timeline of the animation and you can see that each of the keyframes are actually very very small in size. So if I want to increase the timeline size, I can simply, let's say I can do time so that you have time views and then you can do small and you can also do to preview in context so that it is very very high and you can see that the frames are actually seen over here and then you can do large and so forth. So now I'm going to make a simple animation over here. I'm just going to to like let's say insert frame just like that uh, and then you can see that I have an animation let me just remove this layer out as a whole uh, create a new layer and remove this layer out just like that and now I'm going to create uh, a shape just like this and then double click uh, double click on it right click and then uh, I'm going to create um, a shape twin we're going to look at that in further uh, in other lessons just like that all right so just uh, this and drag it out insert keyframe drag it out all right so we have a simple animation right there so now you can see that I have a zoomed in timeline I can do preview I can do preview in context and then I can do lock so that it does not move um, the timeline doesn't move around as well so I can also do unlock so that it moves around so now lock and what happens is that in lock uh, the timeline actually cannot actually move this around so in when I unlock it I can actually uh, let's say uh, click and drag out the frame just like this so now I can lock or unlock the timeline just like that and over here uh, what we have is something called a frame rate if I were to play this you can see that it is playing quite smoothly it is because I'm in a frame uh, frame rate called uh, 24 frame per second over here in the properties you can see that the frame rate is 24 frames per second if I were to do this at 60 then it'll actually play out to be much more smoother uh, it'll play out to be much more smoother you may not see that because I'm using 25 frames per second of this video itself so let me make it slower now so uh, over here in the properties panel uh, I'm just going to make this as 12 frames per second which is for traditional animation let me just play that and you can see that the motion now is actually uh, a bit laggy and if you were to do four frames per second what happens is that you just get four images per second and you can see that the animation is laggy so it depends on what kind of animation you want uh, the higher the frames per second the smoother the animation but you want to stick to what you want as a final result so this is how you work with the timeline size and then frame rate in uh, Adobe Animate. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.